Your mother's looking for you aboard ship. I wanted a closer look at Bangkok, Captain. Where's the palace? You see that cluster of lights above everything? That's it. That's the palace. Louis Weddell. Here I am, Mother. How there you are. Captain, all of our boxes are loaded already. Aye, and a fair lot they are. We packed everything we had in our Singapore house. Furniture and everything. <laughs> Mother, Mother, look, there's the palace. You see the bright clusters of lights there? That's it. Oh, yes, Louis, I see it. It's ex isn't it? Will the King of Siam to the dock to meet us? Oh, the King himself? I hardly think so. Kings don't, as a rule. Get back to work. Men, get back to work. Mother, Mother, look at those men heading this way. A lot of them carry torches. That will likely be the welcoming party. Is that the King, the men in front? No, that's the Chronicle. It's sort of the Prime Minister. The King's right hand there. He's coming to meet us? No doubt of it. He'll take your time about it. Here you are there. Um, if I give you a bit of warning, that man is... Of it. You can use it for you or against you. Captain, I don't. I just want you to know what you're facing. An English woman alone in a country like Siam. You must stop. An English woman alone in a country like Siam. You must stop worrying about me, Captain. <laughs> Mother. Mother, look, those men are naked. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Louis. They cannot be naked. <laughs> well, they're half naked. Another rather cruel, don't they? Father would have not liked us to be afraid, would he? No, Louis. Father would not have liked us to be afraid. Mother, doesn't anything ever frighten you? Sometimes. What do you do? I whistle. Oh, that's why you whistle. <laughs> yes, that's why I whistle. Whenever I feel afraid, I hold my head erect and whistle a happy tune so no one will suspect I'm afraid. While shivering in my shoes, I strike a careless pose and whistle a happy tune so no one ever knows I'm afraid. The result of this deception is very strange to tell. For when I fool the people I tell, I move myself as well. I whistle a happy tune and every single time the happiness in my tune convinces me that I'm not afraid. Make me leave your brave and the trick will take you far. You may be as brave as you make me leave you are. Teacher know everything at once. You come with me now. 
Your boxes are carried to Paris right up. No, just one moment. Not to the palace. I'm not living at the palace. Who's it? The king say, uh, says, the king has promised me 20 pounds a month in a house of my own outside the palace wall. King do not remember what he promised. If I tell him he breaks his promise, I will make anger in him. I think it's better I make anger in him about larger matters. Very well, then. If you are afraid to tell him, I shall tell him myself. King, very busy now. Your Excellency, I don't think you understand. I came here to work. I must support myself and my young son, and I shall take nothing less than what I've been promised. You will tell King this? I will tell King this. It will be a very interesting meeting. <laughs> you come now. Now, if you wish to no, change your mind, return. Your Excellency, I have made a bargain, and I shall live up to my part of it, but I expect a bargain to be kept on both sides. I shall go with you. To Paris? For the time being. <laughs> Goodbye, Captain Orton, and thank you very much for everything. Goodbye, Captain. Bye, lad. stay ruler of Burma. I don't trust this present they sent me, or she a spy. I am not a spy. My name is Tokti. You are pleased I speak the English? Hoi! My name is Tokti. Hmm. King is pleased with you. He write you. Yeah. 
teacher. Yes, your majesty. When may I start my work? You'll start when I tell you to start. There is a matter we have to settle first, your majesty. Are you a part of general plan I have for bringing to Siam to school in Western culture? Already I have great Britain's press here. For Britain? Yes, I know. Are you? Before I signed our agreement, I found out all I could about your majesty's ambitions for Siam. Huh? This is scientific. You are pleased with your apartments and palace? They are quite comfortable, your majesty, for the time being. But my young son and I have found it rather confining, with Amazons guarding the doors and not permitting us to leave our quarters. A strangers cannot be allowed to roam around palace before presentment to king. You could look out the window. We have done so, your majesty. We have seen all the various New Year celebrations, the royal cremation ceremonies, etc., etc., etc. Etc.? What is this, etc.? According to the dictionary, it means, and all the rest, and so forth, your majesty. All the things you have been doing while we were waiting. The fireworks. Best fireworks I ever see at the funeral. Are you like my acrobat? Splendid, your majesty. Best acrobats I have ever seen at the funeral. <laughs> ha! And children prepare for presentment to school teacher. How many children have you, your majesty? I have only 67 altogether. I begin very late. Oh, but you shall not teach all of them. You shall only teach those children of mothers who are in favor of me, which at present are very few. Very few indeed. Ah, Lady Tiang. Madame Leonor, this is Lady Tiang, head wife. There is a happy land far, far away, where saints in glory stand bright, bright as day. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Missionary? Oh, a missionary taught you English. Ah, yes, sir. Missionary. Lady Tiang, you will help Madame Leon Owens in her school teaching, and she in her turn will teach you the better English. Uh, Your Majesty, this is... She is grateful to me for my kindness. Oh, I see. Your Majesty, in our You, come here. You already speak well the English. As she arrived today, she is present to me from Burma Free. She is a present, madam. You have English books I can read? Well, of course I have. I wish you most to read book, Small House of Uncle Thomas. It's by American lady, Harriet Beecher Stowe. A woman has written a book. A very wonderful book, Your Majesty. An American book, all about slavery. Huh, President Lincoln Kong against slavery, no? Me too. Slavery, very bad thing. <laughs> I think I will have you teach my wives too. Those wives who are in royal favor. I shall be most happy to teach your wives, your majesty, even though that was not part of our agreement. Speaking of our agreement, there is still the one little matter about my house. Also, I will allow you to help me on my foreign correspondence. Yes, your majesty, but I don't think you understand about my house. House, house, what is this about house? I want my house, the one you promised me, your majesty. You shall live in palace. You'll teach in palace, you shall live in palace. If you do not live in palace, you do not teach. And you go, wherever you please. I do not care. Do you understand this? Yes, I understand this, but if these are the only terms on which I... Enough! Remain... I have no more time to talk. Talk to other women. My women. My wives. Oh, oh my goodness. What is the matter? What are they trying to do to me? They think you wear a big skirt like that because you shoot. Romantic? 
I suppose I am. I suppose I am. I was very much in love with my late husband, Tom. Tom? Yes, Tom. Oh. Once a woman has love like that, she understands every other woman who is in love, and she's on their side, too, even if she is only a schoolteacher. Tom! Yes, Tom. <laughs> oh, he was pretty in face. Dear, yes. He was very pretty in face. When I think of Tom, I think about a night when the earth smelled of summer and the sky was streaked with white and the soft mist of England was sleeping on a hill. I remembered it and I always There are new lovers now on the same silent hill, looking on the same blue sea. And I know Tom and I are a part of them all, and they're all a part of Tom and me. Medicine, but it has not solved my problem. Silence! You stand here to meet royal children. Very well, Your Majesty. The royal princes and princesses!
活泼。Recite proverb you learned yesterday and writing down twelve times in your copy book. A thought for the day. East or west, home is best. East, west, home, best, home means house. A man's house is no less than room than his honor. Every day for many, many months, always something about house. Are my children to be taught nothing more? Yesterday we are taught that the world is round ball. Which spins on a stick to the middle. Everyone knows the world rides on the back of a great church hall, which keeps it from running to the stars. How can it be everyone knows one thing if many people believe another thing? Then which is true? The world is a ball with a stick through it, I believe. You believe? Does that mean you do not know? But you must know, because you are a king. Good. Someday you too shall be king. And you too will know everything. But how do I learn? And when do I know I know everything? When you are king. <laughs> now leave me. When you are king. But I do not know. I am not sure. I am not sure of anything. When I was a boy, where it was better spot. What was so was so. What was not was not. Now I am a man. Well, it have changed a lot. Some things nearly so. Others nearly not. There are times I almost think I am not sure of what I absolutely know. Very often find confusion in conclusion I concluded long ago. In my head are many facts that as a student I have studied to procure. In my head are many facts of which I wish I was more certain. I was sure. Is a puzzle mark? What to tell a growing son? What, for instance, shall I say to him of women? Shall I educate him on the ancient right? Shall I tell the boy as far as he is able to respect his wives and love his concubines? Shall I tell him every one is like the other and the better one of two is really neither? If I tell him this, I think he won't believe it. And I nearly think I don't believe it either. 
When my father was a king, he was a king who knew exactly what he knew. And his brain was not a thing forever swinging to and fro and fro and fro. Shall I then be like my father and be willingly unmovable and strong? Or it's better to be right? Or am I right when I believe I may be wrong? Shall I join with other nations in alliance? If allies are weak, am I not best alone? If allies are strong with power to protect me, might they not protect me out of all I own? Is a danger to be trusting one another. One will seldom want to do what other wishes. But unless someday somebody trusts somebody, there'll be nothing left on earth excepting fishes. There are times I almost think nobody sure of what he absolutely knows. Everybody find confusion in conclusion he concluded long ago. And it puzzled me to learn that though a man may be in doubt of what he knows, very quickly he will fight. He'll fight to prove that what he does not know will so. people not so bad but no matter what i think i must go on living life as the leader of my kingdom i must go for be father to my children and husband to each wife etc etc and so forth from England. It is a gift to us from His Majesty, your King. The Lord of Light. Uh, yes, the Lord of Light. <laughs> I do not see Siam. The white is Siam. Siam, not so small. Hush, Your Highness. Wait, let me show you England. See, England is even smaller than Siam. <laughs> now, for many years before I came here, Siam was just that little white spot to me. Now that I have lived here for more than a year and met the people of Siam, 
I'm beginning to understand them. You like us? I like you very much. Very much indeed. It's a very ancient saying, but a true and honest thought, that if you become a teacher, by your pupils you'll be taught. As a teacher I've been learning, you'll forgive me if I boast, and I've now become an expert on the subject I like most. Getting to know you. <laughs> Getting to know you, getting to know all about you. Getting to like you, getting to help you like me. Getting to know you, putting it my way, but nicely. You are precisely my cup of tea. <laughs> Getting to know you, getting to feel free and easy. When I am with you, getting to know what to say. Haven't you noticed? Suddenly I'm bright and breezy because of all the beautiful and new things I
photography. Now let's all get back to work. Oh, are there any questions? What is that green? Up there. Hmm, Louise? That is called Norway. 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 Norway is a very cold place. Sometimes it is so cold that the lakes and rivers freeze and the water becomes so hard that you can walk on it. Walk on water? Yes, walk on hard water. How is this possible? Hard water? Not only is the water hard, but very slippery too. When people walk on it, they fall down and slide. <laughs> Not only do the lakes and rivers freeze, but the raindrops as they fall from the sky are changed into small white spots that look like lakes. This is called... No. Snow? Spots of lakes. Yes, Your Highness. The water freezes on the way down from the sky. And rains are turned into little stars. <laughs> yes, Your Highness. Some of them are shaped like little stars. Small, white, and very, very... Not very... with a truth in it. I do not believe such thing as snow. I do not believe Siam is so big. That other country is so big. But... Siam! How can schoolroom be so unscientific? Your Majesty, we have had a little misunderstanding. I was describing snow to them, and they refused to believe that there was such a thing. No. <laughs> snow. Ah, yes, from mountain top. From the sky. From sky to mountain top. That's right, Your Majesty. Please, sire, how did it come down from the sky? Like this. Oh, be I have seen pictures. Switzerland, land all white with snow. That's right, Your Majesty. Who does not believe this? Well, after all, they have never seen Never it. seen? If they will only know what they see, why do we have schoolroom? Rice! Do not ever let me hear of not believing school teacher, whom I have bring here at great expense. Twenty pounds each month. Twenty English pounds. Sterling! Children must learn. Teacher must teach. Not waste time instructing children in silly English song, home sweet house. To remind me of breaking promises I never made, etc., etc. Etc. Your Majesty, you did promise me a house, a brick residence adjoining the royal palace. Those were your words in your letter. I do not remember such words. I remember them. I will do remembering. Who is king here? I remind you, so do you remember that? I do not know of any promises. I do not know anything except that you are my servant. Oh, no, your majesty. What, what, what? I say you are my servant. No, your majesty. Indeed, I am not your servant. And furthermore, if you do not give me the house you promised me, I shall be forced to return to England immediately. No, 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 no. Hush. Let her do nothing. It is not my pleasure. And it is my pleasure that you stay here. You stay here in palace. In palace! No, Your Majesty. I give you servants. I give you bigger room. That is not the point, Your Majesty. <coughs> Why do you wish to leave these children, all of whom are loving you so extraordinarily? I do not wish to leave them. I love them too, quite extraordinarily. But I cannot remain in a country where a promise has no meaning. I will hear no more of this promise. A land where there is talk of honor and a wish for Siam to take a place among the modern nations of the world. Where there is talk of great changes, but where everything still remains according to the wishes of the king. You will say no more! No more! I will say no more because I have no more to say. Come along. Out, out, out! big a world. I am very small. England very small. All people very small. No man big enough to be alone. No man big enough. King. King different. King need no one. Nobody at all. I think
Where is Mrs. Anna? She will not be with us ever again. She has quarreled with the king. How can we meet if she is not with us? Mrs. Anna is our only friend. We cannot be seen talking like this. Anyone can see. Pretend you wait for her. If only we could stop pretending. We kiss in a shadow. We hide from the moon. Our meetings are few and over too soon. We speak in a whisper, afraid to be heard. When people are near, we speak not a word. On in our secret, Together we sigh for one smiling day to be free. To kiss in the sunlight and say to the sky, Behold and believe what you see.
for ye. <laughs> because I am a woman, you think like every woman, I have to be a slave or a concubine. You can seek in self-indulgent libertine. Libertine. Oh, how I wish I'd caught him that. Right to his face. Libertine. And while we're on the subject, sire, if there are certain goings on around this place if that I wish to tell you, I do not admire. I do not like polygamy or even portrait bigamy. I realize that in your eyes that clearly makes up polygamy, but I am from the civilized land called Wales, where men like you are kept in county jail. In your pursuit of pleasure, you have mistresses who treasure you. They have no kin of other men beside whom they can measure you. A flock of sheep and you are the only ram. No wonder you're the wonder of Siam. <laughs> oh dear, I'm rather glad I didn't say that. <laughs> Not for the women right there. <gasps> and the children. The children, the children, I'll not forget the children. Like advice. <laughs> King cannot take advice. 
<laughs> and if you go to him, he will not bring up subject. You must bring it up. I'm sorry, Lady Tiong. It's against all my principles. <coughs> you wish to be a new blood king with Western ideas. But it is hard for him, Mrs. Anna. He needs help. He has you. I am not equal to his special needs. He could be great man, but he needs special help. He needs you. Lady Tia, please do not think that I am just being stubborn, but I simply cannot go to him. I will not. What more can I say to you? This is a man who thinks with his heart. His heart is not always wise. This is a man who stumbles and falls. But this is a man who tries. This is a man you'll forgive and forgive and help and protect as long as you live. succeed. Will she go to him? She will go. <laughs> she knows he needs her. Tell him. I will tell him she is anxious to come. I will tell him it is she who needs him. <laughs> <laughs> that will also be true. This woman knows many things. But this, I do not think she knows.
Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty is reading the Bible. Well, Mr. Zama, I think your Moses shall have been a fool. Moses? Moses, Moses, Moses! Here it stands written by him that the world was created in six days. Well, you know and I know it took many ages to create the world. I think he shall have been a fool to have written so. What is your opinion? Your Majesty, the Bible was not written by men of science, but by men of faith. It was their explanation of the miracle of creation, which is the same miracle whether it took six days or many centuries. Hmm. <laughs> you have come to apologize. I am sorry, Your Majesty. Good to I... apologize. Your Majesty. I accept. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. Tell me about President Lin Kong of America. Shall Mr. Lin Kong be winning this war he's fighting at present? Does he have enough guns and elephants for transporting things? I don't think they have elephants in America, Your Majesty. No elephants? Amazing! No wonder he has not won this war yet. I shall send him some. <laughs> Write letter to Mr. Lincoln. No. No, when else? Now is always best time. Uh, very well, Your Majesty. From Frahamahamangud, by the blessing of the highest super agency in the world, of the whole universe, the king of Siam, the sovereign of all tributary countries adjacent and all around, in every direction, etc., etc., etc. Do you not have any respect for me? Why do you stand over my head? I cannot stand all the time. And in this country, no one's head shall be higher than kings. From now on, in presence, you shall so conduct yourself like all other subjects. You mean on the floor? All subjects do so. I am sorry, Your Majesty. I shall try very hard not to let my head be above Your Majesty's, but I simply cannot grovel on the floor. I couldn't possibly work that way or think. <coughs> you are a very difficult woman. <laughs> but from now on, you shall observe care that head shall never be higher than mine. If I shall sit, you shall sit. If I shall kneel, you shall kneel, etc., etc., etc. Very well, Your Majesty. His promise. His promise. Good. Presidency of the United States in America, Abraham Lincoln, etc., you fix up. It has occurred to us. <laughs> it has occurred to us. It has occurred to us that if several pairs of young male elephants were turned loose in forests of America, after a while they would increase... Your Majesty, just male elephants? You put in details. In fact, my mind is on other matters, very important matters. Anything you wish to discuss with me? Why should I discuss important matters with woman? Very well, then, Your Majesty, I shall return to my room. May I say good night? Good night. <coughs> Your Majesty. What, what, what? I was wondering, when the boat arrived from Singapore yesterday... Singapore, huh? Yes, was there any news from abroad? News? Yes, there are news. They call me barbarian. Who? Or certain parties who would use this as excuse for still my country. Or suppose you were Queen Victoria and someone tell you King of Siam is barbarian. Do you believe? Well, I... You will, you will, you will. You'll believe I am barbarian because there is no one to speak otherwise. But this is a lie. This is a false lie. <laughs> <laughs> what have you decided to do about it? You guess. <laughs> well, Your Majesty, my guess would be...
be that if someone was sending a big lie about me to England, I should do my very best to send the truth to England. Is that what you have decided to do, Your Majesty? Yes, that is what I have decided to do. How? You guess how I shall do this. <laughs> Well, Your Majesty, my guess would be that when Sir Edward Ramsay arrived oh, Ramsay, here, Ramsay? The British diplomat. Oh, yes, on way from Singapore. Yes, we wrote to him last month. When he is here, I shall take opportunity of expressing my opinion of English thieves who wish to steal Siam. I shall show him who is barbarian. What is this face you put on? <laughs> well, Your Majesty, my guess would be that you will not fight with Sir Edward. I will not? No, Your Majesty. You will entertain him and his party in an especially grand manner. They will return to England and report to the Queen that you are not a barbarian. Naturally! Naturally! This is what I have intended to do. This is the only way to get the better of the British. Stand up to them. Put your best foot forward. <laughs> That's just an expression, Your Majesty. It means dress up in your best clothes, show them your most intelligent men and your most beautiful women. Edward admires beautiful women. Edward? You call him thieves? We are old friends. I knew him in Bombay before I was married. Oh! <laughs> but shall it be proper for British dignitary to see my women with no shoes on their feet? Shall it be proper for them to put their best bare feet forward? No, Sir Ramsay will go back and tell Queen Victoria that I am barbarian. Why do you not think of this? We shall dress them up, European fashion. You mean dress them in dresses? How many women can I have to serve for me? All women and kingdom, how many dresses? That depends on how many ladies are chosen by your majesty. Well, you shall tell me which of my ladies are most like Europeans for dressing like same. Wake up, wake up, wake up! Etc. 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 I shall command Chinese artists to paint their faces very pale, and you shall instruct them in European custom and manner for presentation. I wonder how much time we shall have. Oh, Sir Ramsay's convoy last reported off Song Kla. How long he take? Depend on how many ports he called into. Let us say we have one week. One week? Your Majesty, one week? In this time, all world was created, Moses. <laughs> Any details I do not think of so far. Oh, we must give them a fine dinner, a European dinner. I was going to. Oh, and a ball with music. Music and dancing. Oh, yes, Your Majesty, dancing. Why do you not think of dancing? It's an inspired idea, Your Majesty. We shall entertain them with jugglers and acrobats. Oh, and we can give them a play. Top Tim has written a version of Uncle Tom's Cabin. Huh. We shall give them theatrical performance. We shall show them who is barbarian. Line up, line up, line up. Lady Tiang, on Saturday next at... Nine o'clock post meridian. We shall give fine dinner. European dinner. You are to instruct steward during week. He shall make eminent European dishes for tasting. I shall taste and school teacher shall taste. Oh, and cigars. Englishmen are very fond of cigars. We get cigars. You say who is most like Europeans for dressing like same. You are to make tablecloth of finest white silk for very long table. Also instruct both musicians to learn music of Europe for dancing, etc. What, what, what? Am I to be annoyed by children at this moment? Hoo, hoo, hoo. This is Anna. We must be more scientific with children. For the next week, the men and women of my kingdom shall work without sleeping until all is ready. If a what is not done, each man and woman shall be beaten a hundred strokes. Everyone must know this lady, Dion. You tell this to everyone. Above all, I must not be worried by anything. <laughs> The British, the Rumble, they have passed all this route and we answer with fireworks. It's Sir Edward Ramsay and his party. No! No, they must have come oh. direct from St. Clair. No stop. No stops, Your Majesty, no stops. Tell them to go back, oh. we are not ready. <laughs> Not ready, Your Majesty. No, you do not know, you do not know. I had planned the best idea I ever get. Still, we can do it, Your Majesty. You can do it. We're English right. We shall put them to bed. Tomorrow morning we shall send them on sightseeing trip. We must start this minute. Work, work. We have only 18 hours for the doing of everything, but somehow I shall do it. <laughs> I shall do it. You shall help me. Yes, Your Majesty. No one shall sleep tonight or tomorrow. We shall work even when the sun shines in the middle of the day. We shall... Ah, priests. Good. First we shall ask help from Buddha. Bow to him. Bow, bow, bow. 
Pau! Oh, Buddha, give us the aid of your strength and wisdom. And help us to prove to the visiting English that we are extraordinary and remarkable people. And help us to prove to the visiting English that we are extraordinary and remarkable people. Help also Mrs. Anna to keep awake for scientific sewing of dresses. <laughs> even though she be only a woman and a Christian and therefore unworthy of your interest. <laughs> a promise is a promise. Your head cannot be higher than mine. Is promised. And Buddha, I promise you, I shall give to this unworthy woman a house. <laughs> a house of her own, a brick residence adjoining the royal palace, according to agreement. Etc., etc., etc. And I promise you, I shall give to this unworthy woman a house, a house of her own, a great residence adjoining the royal palace, according to agreements.
Let's see how you look. Oh, very pretty. Now, let's all turn around and get ready for a curtsy. <gasps> oh, my goodness gracious. What's up in trouble now? I forgot. They have practically no undergarments. Undergarments? What importance are undergarments at this moment? Of great importance, Your Majesty. Are you wearing undergarments? Of course, Your Majesty. All properly dressed English ladies always wear undergarments. That a woman has no legs is useless to pretend. Wherefore then swollen skirt? The wide skirt is symbolic. It is the circle within which the female is protected. This is necessary. English men are so aggressive, I did not know. <laughs> This is what you are going to wear. Why, yes, Your Majesty. Do you like it? You're certain this is customary, etc., etc., etc. What is so extraordinary about bare shoulders? Why, well, your own ladies walk around. Oh, yes, what is different? They do not wear so many coverings up on other parts of body, and therefore... And therefore what? It's different. Well, I am sorry His Majesty does not approve. I do not say I do not approve, but I do say that... Your Majesty! The English, they are in palace. They will eat us, they will eat us! Oh, no, ladies, 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 they will do nothing of the kind. Now, ladies, just remember, when you are presented to the ambassador, for heaven's sakes, keep your backs to the wall. Even I, even I! Have you not educated these girls in English custom of spying glass? Oh, my monocle. Was that what frightened them? Hello, Anna, my dear. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Your Majesty, allow me to present Sir Edward Ramsay. Your Majesty. I am sorry, sir, my women have not given good impression. On the contrary, Your Majesty, I have never received so good an impression in so short a time. <laughs> you have most attractive pupils, Anna. Tomorrow you must meet some of my younger pupils, His Majesty's children. I shall be delighted. How many children have you, Your Majesty? 106 now. Oh. Why not marry very long? Next month expecting five more. No problem at all about finding an heir to the throne, is there? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I should apologize for wandering into this room. The rest of the party were so ahead of me. I'm so glad you decided to visit us. To visit His Majesty, I mean, of course. It was your postscript to His Majesty's letter that really brought me here. Postscript? His Majesty was most happy when you decided to accept his invitation, weren't you, Your Majesty? I was happy. <laughs> your Majesty! Your Majesty, dinner is about to be served, but I would first like to present your guest to you in the reception room. Dina, Dina, Dina. You have met? Your Excellency. <laughs> Anna, my dear, you're looking lovelier than ever. Thank you, Edward. Found a job to do, eh? People you can help. That's it, isn't it? Extraordinary how one gets attached to people who need one. Do you hear that? You know, we danced to that once in Bombay. Still dance? Not very often. <laughs> you should. Edward, perhaps we'd better be Are you sure don't... you don't ever get homesick? No, Edward. I told you. I have nothing there. No one. Anna, do you remember that I once asked you to marry me? Before Tom came along. Of course. And I never let Tom forget it. And I've never been able to take the feet easily. Dear Edward. I see another ten years of waiting in those eyes. Dancing after dinner. Oh, sorry, sir. I'm afraid I started talking over old times. It was my impression that Mrs. Anna would be of great help seating guests at dinner table, etc., etc., etc. In that case, we'd better be going in, Anna. Yes, better be going in, Anna. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Herewith shall be list of subjects you shall try to bring up for talk. On such subjects, I am very brilliant and will make excellent impression. You will begin with Moses. <laughs>
Vera Pavilion. I guessed you were both here. I do think you're being reckless. Yes, I will go. I must say goodbye to you now, Mrs. Anna. Gracious, anyone would think that she never expected to see me again. Mrs. Anna, we are leaving tonight. Leaving? How? Do not ask me how. It is better if you do not know. <laughs> we shall never forget you, Mrs. Anna. Never. God bless you both. I know how it feels to have wings on your heels and to fly down the street in a trance. You fly down the street on the chance that you meet and you meet. Not really, my child. Majesty, I beg to put before you one who is not happy, the slave Eliza. The 
escape. Make the river. 
give a water hard, hard enough to walk upon. Who done make a miracle? Angel, show her how to walk on frozen water. His love, Buddha sent a new miracle. Sent from heaven, stars and blossoms.
dance for joy. I tell you what Harriet Beecher Stowe <coughs> said, Topsy said. I specs I'm the wickedest critter in the world. <coughs> but I, I do not believe Topsy is wicked critter. Because I too am glad for death of king, of any king who pursues his slave who is unhappy and who wishes to join her lover. Your Majesty, I wish to say to you. Your Majesty and honorable guests, I will tell you end of story. Is very sad ending. Buddha has saved Eliza, but with the blessings of Buddha also comes sacrifice. was a great success, <coughs> Your Majesty. I enjoyed Princess Tuptim's play immensely. This play did not succeed with me. It is immoral for King to drown while pursuing slave who deceive him. Immoral, immoral. Tuptim shall know of my displeasure. Your conversation at dinner was most amusing. I was forced to laugh myself. I was so funny. <laughs> Your Majesty, Queen Victoria will be glad to know that we have come to such felicity of agreement about Siam. <laughs> and very happy I am thereof. Very happy. I think now, with your permission, I should take my leave. Cigar. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye, Anna, my dear. Lovely to see you again. Goodbye, Edward. Majesty. It is all over. May I remove my shawl? It's a very hot night. I'm so pleased with everything. I am aware of your interest. I wish to say that you have been a great help to me in this endeavor. I wish to make it. I have hope you will accept. Put it on. Put it on finger. Put it on. Put it on. 
your majesty. I don't know what to say. When one does not know what to say is a time to be silent. <laughs> a white elephant has been discovered in the forest of Ayutthaya. You regard this as a good omen, don't you? Yes. Everything going well with us. Everything going well with us. Oh, oh, oh. Goodbye, Your Majesty. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Come in, come in. Well, well, well. Your Majesty, secret police are here. They would make a report to you. Pardon me. Oh, you will wait here. Secret police? Your finger shine. Oh, yes, it's the king. I did not know what to say. Women in my country don't accept such gifts from men. But of course, he's the king. Actually, it places me in a rather embarrassing position. I was intending to ask him for a rise in my salary, but now... But now it will be very difficult to ask. Very. I don't suppose you would ask him for me. About a rise in my salary, I mean. I think I will do this for you, because it is a very strange world in which men and women can be very blind about things nearest to them. Thank you, Your Excellency. I don't know what you mean by that. No, but it does not matter. I do not think he will rise your salary anyway. <laughs> ha! Good news and bad news come together. You will please stay up all night until we have further report an item of top tier. I had intended to do so, Your Majesty. Perhaps I had better go, too. Oh, no, no, no. I wish to talk with you. Is there something wrong with Top Tim? She is missing from Palace. You know something of these. I knew she was unhappy. But why unhappy? She is in Palace of King. What greater honor is there for the girl to be in Palace of King? Your Majesty, of what importance to you is one girl like Top Tim? She is just another woman. As a bowl of rice is just another bowl of rice, no different from any other bowl of rice. Now you understand about women. <laughs> I think this poets. Ha. You've been reading poetry, Your Majesty. Out of curiosity or the strange idea of love, etc. I tell you, this poetry is nonsense and a silly complication of a pleasant simplicity. <laughs> a woman is a female who is human. Designed for pleasing man, the human male. A human male is pleased by many women. And all the rest you hear is fairy tale. Then tell me how this fairy tale began, sir. You cannot call it just a poet's trick. Explain to me why many men are faithful and true to one wife only. They are sick. <laughs> You do expect women to be faithful. Naturally. Why naturally? Because it is natural. It is like old Siamese rhyme. A girl must be like a blossom with honey for just one man. A man must live like honeybee and gather all he can. fly from blossom to blossom, a honeybee must be free, but blossom must not ever fly from bee to bee to bee. You consider this to be sensible poetry, Your Majesty? Certainly, but listen to this from your own poet, Alfred Tennyson. Now falls the lily all her sweetness up and slips into the bosom of the lake. So fold thyself, my dearest thou, and slip into my bosom. English girls are so acrobatic. <laughs> <laughs> Your Majesty, I don't know if I can ever make it clear to you. We don't look on women as just human females. They are, well, Take yourself, for instance. You are not just a human male. I am king. Exactly. And every man is a king and every woman a queen. When they love one another. 
This is a sickly idea. <laughs> it's a beautiful idea, Your Majesty. We are brought up on it, of course. And a young girl at her first dance. Young girl? They dance too like I see tonight in arms of men, not their husbands. Why, yes. I would not permit. Oh, it's very exciting when you're young and you're seated on a small gilt chair, your eyes cast down, terrified that you'll be a wallflower, and then suddenly you see two black shoes, a white waistcoat, a face. It speaks. We've just been introduced. I do not know you well. But when the music started, something drew me to your side. So many men and girls are in each other's arms. It made me think we might be similarly occupied. Shall we dance on a bright cloud of music? Shall we fly? Shall we dance? Shall we then say good night and mean goodbye? When the last little star has left the sky Shall we still be together with our arms around each other And shall you be my new romance On the clear understanding that this kind of thing can happen Shall we dance? Shall we dance? Shall we dance? Stop, you dance pretty. Go on, go on, go on. Your Majesty, I didn't realize. Well, after all, a girl in my country would never dance while the man is looking on. But she will dance with strange man holding hands, etc. Why, yes. Not always a strange man. Sometimes a very good friend. Good. We dance together. You show me. You teach, you teach, you teach. Well, it's really very simple, the poker. It goes. One, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, shall we dance? One, two, three, and... On a bright cloud of music, shall we fly? One, two, three, and... Shall we dance? One, two, three, and... Shall we then say goodnight and mean goodbye? One, two, three, and... Oh, chance when the last little star has left the sky. Shall we still be together with our and shall you be my new romance? On the clear understanding that this kind of thing can happen. Shall we dance? Shall we dance? Shall we dance? And one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, what is wrong? Oh, I know, I know, I forget. Arm. This time I remember. <laughs> One, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three. Thank you, Your Splendid! One, two, and one. You're from the old cow. One, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one. But, but, but this is not right. Oh, yes, it is. You were doing wonderfully, Your Majesty. No, no, no. It's not right. Not like I see Europeans dancing tonight. Yes, it was. It was just like that. No. We're not holding two hands like this. Oh. No. As a matter of fact. Was like this.
Have you first for my door without waiting? Your Majesty, we have found top team. Where is she? Secret police are questioning her. Now that you have found her, what will you do with her? I will do what is usually done in such events. What is that? What has happened, you will know. She was found on Chinese sailing ship. See, she wears disguise of religious student. Who gave you this role? Who, who, who? This brief, she was running away with man who bring her here from Burma. Dishonor, dishonor, dishonor! He was not found on ship. Where is this man? I do not know. You will tell us where we will find him. You will tell us. I do not know. It is believed you were lovers with this man. I am lovers with this man. Dishonor! We will soon have truth of this man. Boy! This is not bad. Do you hear me? Stop it! It will be better if you understand at once this matter does not concern you. But it does. It does not only because of her, but even more because of you. You waste my time. She's only a child. She was running away because she was unhappy. Can't you understand that? Your Majesty, I beg of you, don't throw away everything you have done. This girl has hurt your vanity. She hasn't hurt your heart. You haven't got a heart. You never loved anyone and you never will. I show you. Give. Give to me. I cannot believe you are going to do this dreadful thing. You cannot believe, huh? Maybe you'll believe that you'll hear her screaming when you run down the hall. I am not going to run down the hall. I'm going to stand here and watch you. Down! I do this all myself. You are a barbarian. Am I king or am I not king? Am I to be cockled in my own palace? Am I to take orders from English school teacher? No, not orders. Silence! I am king as I was born to be. And so I am to be governed in my way. Not the English way, not French way, not Chinese way. My way! Barbarian, you say. There is no worse barbarian than a weak king. And I am strong king, you hear? Strong! The man, the lover, has been found. He is dead.
Will be you going to the ship to see Mrs. Anna before she sails? I'm afraid it is too late. No, my son, her ship does not sail for several hours. She will not leave without saying goodbye, and I must speak with her. Mother, tomorrow won't be that father so ill. He may die soon. What is the matter with him? It is his heart. Also, for some time now, he does not seem to want to live. Mother, I am frightened. I am frightened because I love my father. And also because if he dies, I shall become king. And I do not know how to be. Many men learn this after they become king. Chalungkun! Louis! Lady Cheong, how nice of you to come to say goodbye. I was down at the ship seeing that all of our boxes were on. Captain Orton must sail with Mrs. the Mrs. Anna, I did not come only to say goodbye. I come for one who must see you. You must come to him. When he heard that you were sailing, he started to write this letter. All day he has been writing. It was very difficult for him, madam. Very difficult. He has commanded that I bring it to you. Please, read it to all of us. I would like to hear what my father has said. While I'm lying here, I think perhaps I die. This heart, which you say I have not got, is matter of concern. It occurs to me that there shall be nothing wrong that men shall die, for all that shall matter about man is that he shall have tried his utmost best. You have spoken truth to me always, and for this, I have often lost my temper on you. But now, I do not wish to die without saying this gratitude, etc., etc. <laughs> I think it is strange that a woman shall have been most earnest help of all. But Mrs. Arnold, you must remember that you have been a very difficult woman <laughs> and much more difficult in generality. <laughs> you will come to him. I will go ahead. I will tell him you are coming. Mother, I thought you and the king were very angry with each other. We were, Louis. Now, he's dying. Does that make you better friends? I suppose so, Louis. We can't hurt each other anymore. I didn't know he hurt you. When two people are as different as we are, Louis, they are almost bound to hurt each other. He always frightened me. I wish you could have known him better, Louis. You could have been great friends. In some ways, he was just as young as you. Was he as good as king as he could have been? I don't know if any man is as good a king as he could have been, Louis. But this one tried. He tried very hard. You really like him, don't you, Mama? Yes, Louis. I like him very much. Very much indeed. I do not see you, Mrs. Anna, but now I die. 
Oh, no, Your Majesty. This is not scientific, Mrs. Anna. I know if I die or do not die. You're leaving Siam? When? Very soon, Your Majesty. In fact, I can only stay a few more minutes. You are glad for this? People of Siam, royal children, etc., they are not glad and are in great affliction of your departure. I shall miss them. You shall miss them. <clears throat> but you shall be leaving. I too am leaving. But I am not walking onto a boat with my own two feet, my own free will. I am just leaving. Why is your head above mine? <laughs> I am not afraid of what is happening to me. <laughs> you teach to the long con. To the long con teach me. Make believe you pray is good idea. All of them. You are brave, Your Majesty. Very brave. Here is something belonging to you. Put it on. Put it on. Put it on. Please wear it. Always. The children. <coughs> ah, my children. Tell them to come here. Good evening, my children. Good evening, my father. Please, Hush, children! Did you come to see your father or Mrs. Anna? It is all right, Lady Tiang. It is suitable. Was it not said to me that someone has written a farewell letter to Mrs. Anna? Princess Ying Yawalak has composed a letter to Mrs. Anna. She cannot write words. She only makes them out. Speak letter now. Say it, say it, say it. Do not go away. We are in great need of you. We are like one blind. Do not let us fall down in darkness. Continue good and sincere concern and meet us in right road. Your loving pupil, Princess Nina. <coughs> for doing of this demonstration for school teacher realizing her duties <laughs> for which I pay exorbitant monthly salary of 25 pounds <laughs> further is this organized behavior for bedroom of dying king to the low court right Mrs. Anna you take notes. You take notes from next key. Well, well, well. Suppose you were king. Is there nothing you would do? I would make proclamations. Yes, yes. First, I would proclaim for coming New Year fireworks. Mm? Also, boat races. Boat races? <laughs> Why would you have boat races at New Year celebration? I like boat races. And Father, I will make second proclamation. Well, go on. What is second proclamation? Make it, make it, make it. Regarding custom of bowing and fashion of lowly tone. I don't believe this is a good thing. Causing embarrassing fatigue of body and degrading experience of soul, etc., etc., etc. <laughs> this is a bad thing, I believe. You are. 
angry with me, father? Why do you ask question? If you are king, you are king. Do not ask question of sick man, nor of woman. <laughs> this proclamation against bowing, I believe, to be awful. Oh, I hope so, your majesty. <laughs> I do hope so. Up, up, up! Good, two lines like soldiers. It has been said that there shall be no bowing for showing respect to king. It has been said by one who has been trained in royal government. Another. But looking into each other's faces. 